And news now of the rain fury in India that has brought two South Indian states, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, to a standstill. 26 National Disaster Response Force teams are being deployed for flood relief and rescue operations. At least eight people lost their lives in Andhra Pradesh and one in Telangana as heavy rains lashed the states for the second day in a row. The situation in Andhra Pradesh continues to remain grim as incessant rain left several districts underwater. Over 13,000 people were evacuated from the five worst districts of the state. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Sunday assured Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister N. Chandra Babu Naidu of all possible help from the centre to deal with the crisis. Naidu reviewed the flood situation in Vijayawada where heavy rain has swept roads and triggered landslides. Heavy rains have caused severe water logging in several areas, submerging houses and cars in many parts of Andhra Pradesh. Over 20 trains have been cancelled and 30 others diverted due to flooding. Police and the NDRF teams initiated risk rescue and relief operations, relocating affected residents to rehabilitation centres. In neighboring state of Telangana, the rain crippled normal life in Hyderabad and other parts of the state, causing severe water logging. Schools and colleges have been given a holiday across the district. Rivulets are in spate in some districts and, fl uh, and the flood waters have disrupted the transport system as well. In the Kamam district, nine people were left stranded after a river started overflowing on the bridge. Telangana government roped in a naval chopper to airlift them. Inundated railway tracks have disrupted train services in the state. Trains plying between Telangana and Andhra are on hold. The water logging its force people in the Warangal district to wade through flood waters. Even the famous Hussain Sagar Lake is overflowing, while the non-stop rainfall has prompted authorities to open floodgates.